what's up everyone welcome back to my kitchen today i'm going to share with you some quick easy 30 minute meals not only am i going to share with you three easy 30 minute dinner ideas today but i'm also going to share with you my idea behind throwing together 30 minute or less meals the first one is pasta related I'm sharing with you a pasta hummus veggie dish that is so good. I've shared this a lot of times in my videos, especially last summer, we were super into this, but a pasta and a sauce, perfect busy night meal, throw in any veggies you might have in your crisper and boom, you have dinner. Let me know down below if you do this as well. We love it with lots of sauces from Trader Joe's, but I know a lot of you don't have Trader Joe's near you. So you can throw in a hummus, a red sauce, a vegan Alfredo, so many options. But a quick canned sauce, hummus, will do just as well. And some pasta and some veggies. That's it. It's so simple, so easy. This meal comes together in about 12 minutes because all you have to do is boil that water, get that pasta going, chop the veggies, cook them however you want. But literally, so fast, so easy. And the leftovers are also so good. I hope you're really enjoying this little mix of ASMR with a little bit of music mixed in. I'm obsessed with ASMR when I'm working in my office or doing a task at home. I always have background noise going and I've recently been really, really into it versus listening to a podcast. And a fact that an ASMR channel that I listened to said was the reason we're really addicted and curious about sound is because it's one of the first senses we have as a baby around 27 to 29 weeks in the womb, we can start hearing our mother's voice and different sounds around us. And that is why so many of us are super infatuated with ASMR. Let me know if you are hooked on ASMR like I am. It makes me so happy when I play back these clips and I have all these little nuggets of sound to share with you guys. Like I shared, I am using hummus in today's recipe. I did about a cup and a half of pasta. Normally I would use an entire 12 ounce hummus with a box of pasta, but I only have these two little snacking sizes. So I wanted to make sure that I had the appropriate amount of pasta and adding a lime in was so good. It just hit a little bit of citrus. I feel like I need that in the summertime, but I'm also gonna try it in the fall and see if I like it as well with different seasonings because this just really amped it up. And if you're wondering, I didn't cook any of my veggies. I wanted them raw, just preference. If you wanna cook them down, you absolutely can. You could also throw them in the pasta water. You could cook them in um, a pan right next to your pasta while your pasta is cooking. This is a freedom meal. You can do whatever you like. It's just for an idea. But if you haven't done zucchini, red peppers, red pepper hummus, a zap of lime, some sea salt, garlic, and some snap peas, please try it. It's so good.
peek at the recipe for this one, but I'm sharing with you what would be like a sheet pan meal or an easy breakfast idea that you can do breakfast for dinner. I think that's something that we forget about, especially being plant-based. It's, I have breakfast for breakfast, but breakfast for dinner is so fast, so easy. You could also do scrambled tofu, tofu burritos, some black beans, tofu, onions, zucchini, and a skillet, maybe some potatoes, tofu. And I love my tofu with some turmeric and garlic and onion powder, a little bit of sea salt. But I'm making a blueberry breakfast bake and it's just oat flour, which is super inexpensive, so it's great if you're gluten-free. A cup and a half of that, a couple flax eggs. The original recipe called for three real eggs. I don't eat those, so we're switching over to a flax egg. If you've never done it before, it's supposed to be equal parts water to equal parts ground flax, but I usually add a little bit more water um, just because I feel like the ratio is better that way, but you can do it however you'd like. This little grinder, if I can find it, I always get so many questions on it. If I can find it, I will surely link it below. It's from Amazon. It's a food processor, grinder, and blender all in one. It's fantabulous. I use it probably every single time I cook in my kitchen. I love it, but this blueberry bake was amazing. And side note, if you're in the Vegas area, blueberries are on super sale right now. I shared that on Instagram yesterday, and so many of you sent me messages like, what store, where can I get them? They're $2.49 for 18 ounces, and it's at Smith's Grocery Store. You're welcome in advance. This is also a great meal you could double, triple, quadruple, and then make it for the entire week. Like I said, you could do some tofu scramble on the side, and there you have yourself a pancake bake with some scrambled tofu eggs, quote unquote, eggs. And what a great meal you can make ahead, have for dinner, have leftovers. This pancake bake was so good. I hope you give it a try. I'll type out the recipe that I use down in the description box below. When I posted my August monthly reset video, I had quite a few of you send me messages on Instagram and also leave comments on that video saying that your goal for the month of August was to not go out to eat. And I am so blessed to say that Green Chef is partnering with me for today's video. If you have not heard of Green Chef, you're so lucky to tune in today's video because they have a great deal for my subscribers. Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic company with options for every lifestyle. They have keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, and gluten-free options and they are delivered directly to your doorstep. They're pre-portioned ingredients and sauces to make cooking a snap on busy nights. Almost every single one of their meals is 30 minutes or less. 
Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well with dinners that work for your lifestyle, not the other way around. Green Chef also introduces you to new ingredients and flavorful dishes that support a healthy lifestyle. I have shared with you guys so many times when I share Green Chef here on my channel, but I used to be a salt and garlic person and they really helped me get outside the box by trying different things. Their vegan chimichurri sauce, which is actually in the recipe here that I'm making today, is the best thing in the world. It's so good. And for us, we personally love to eat like 99% of our meals at home. It's just what we prefer. We find it super budget friendly and I love, there's nothing in the world more that I love to do when I have time is to make a meal. And I find it so fun and therapeutic to open a Green Chef meal and make it on a Friday or Saturday night for us as a date night. I think it's really fun because we can just sit in our kitchen and chill. I can cut and chop. But the nice thing is, is everything is done for me. I don't have to think of a meal. I don't have to shop for the ingredients. It's really fun to have everything delivered to my doorstop. And then all I have to do is cut and chop. And I love it so much. Use my code Miranda135 to get $135 off across five boxes plus free shipping on your first box. Go to greenchef.com for more details. I also thought it would be really helpful and important to add that the best thing besides having everything delivered to me on a busy week so we can have these meals for our date nights and so I can cook at home and it just makes me feel better that way but I also love having the recipe cards I keep all of our favorites and I keep them for inspiration and I also have passed them on to friends you always have them so if you find a meal you really 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 love you have the recipe for it and you can make it over and over again. This meal is absolutely beautiful and I'm wondering why I have never made stuffed peppers here on my channel or even stuffed tomatoes. It's two things I always get out when we go out to eat. And like I said, we eat probably like 99% of our meals at home. Some weeks we'll go out to eat twice a week and then we won't go out for a couple weeks. Sometimes we go out just on date night. It really just depends on our schedule. Um, we do budget for that every single month. I did talk a lot about everything with the month of August in my monthly reset. So you can check that video out as well. But I am definitely going to throw stuffed peppers, I think into next week's menu. So good. I like, I can't get over how good they are and so quick and easy. I do like my peppers a little bit more raw. You'll have to let me know if you like them more cooked. I personally like them a little bit more raw, but I would love them with some rice and lentils. That would be really good. Almost like a taco stuffed one. So good. And now I have to clean up the kitchen. So if you're curious, I did make all of these meals out once on a Sunday morning because that is what I do. My schedule is really busy during the week and I find that even a 30 minute meal is so quick for me to make, especially if I'm making three of them. And personally, I love the cleanup process. It's so therapeutic for me. And I just always want to share with you guys the joy that I have in my own kitchen. And I also get a lot of questions about my knife. I will link it down below if you'd like. I sharpen it about once every other month and I just use some Dawn dish soap on it and um, scrub it up. I never put it in the dishwasher and let it sit to air dry. 
if you are looking for a really awesome knife, check out the link down below. I will say the price does keep fluctuating. It's really weird. <laughs> Sometimes this knife is as cheap as $15, which is insane. And then one time it was close to $200. So Amazon's just fickle that way. I don't really understand it. But if you're looking for an amazing chef knife, I would highly recommend checking it out. Thank you so much as always for stopping by today. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below a 30 minute meal that you love that you make at your house. And I will see you in next week's video. Bye-bye.